the purpose of currency is to be exchanged for goods and services. If the total amount of currency in circulation increases faster than the total value of goods and services, then each individual piece will be able to buy smaller portion of those things than before. This is called inflation. On the other hand, if the money supply remains the same, while more goods services are produced, each dollar's value would increase. This is known as deflation. For example let us create a country. Now this country produces two pens and prints two dollars. By the ratio of goods and money the value of one pen is one dollar. If they decide to print more money say ten dollars, the value of each pen will be five. That is inflation. The pen which was one dollar before now has a price of five dollars. Too much inflation means that the money in your wallet today will be worth less tomorrow, making you want to spend it right away. So, while this would stimulate business, it would also encourage overconsumption of commodities like food and fuel raising their prices and leading to consumer shortages and even more inflation. But deflation would make people want to hold on to their money, and a decrease in consumer spending would reduce business profits leading to more unemployment and causing the economy to keep shrinking. So most economists believe that well either too much of inflation or too much of deflation is dangerous. A small consistent amount of inflation is necessary to encourage economic growth. All nations has agencies, which uses vast amount of economic data to determine how much currency should be in circulation. 